Okay, everyone, uh, I'm in the middle of my master bath uh, remodel here, and I uh, stumbled upon some interesting things that I felt were important enough to tell you about them, even though I've already done the work, but I'll explain it to you. First of all, this bathroom uh, had a problem with you know, sweaty walls, I don't know if you can see that, and the paint began to run because we never had a, a ceiling fan in here. And all we had was a single light switch, this is a double, but it was like that on one side, you know, the one side, the single light switch to, they run the, the shower light, and we had no ceiling fan. And so I decided, okay, I'm going to tackle this, it needs to be done, i got to put a ceiling fan in there. And by the way, the, the model I decided upon, I found this at Lowe's, pretty good price on it, Panasonic Whisper remodel version, uh, model number, I'm sorry, FV-0811RF. One, I assume the uh, RF stands for retrofit. Super quiet one, and it moves a lot of air. To test that, uh, you can see it's holding that cardboard up there, so it's at least working quite well. It's so quiet, you wonder if it's even working. So I had the single switch here, so I thought, okay. And I saw this old house video on uh, YouTube. It's kind of almost exactly what I needed to do. I think I thought, okay, I'll go with this from a single switch to a double switch here and come to find out I've got studs on both sides here there is studs but I don't have room for a double switch so I thought oh no so I go to Lowe's find out luckily they have this double switch uh, that comes in a single switch box however I was going to put one of the switches in the double box that would be this full size switch that had the timer on it for 10, 20, 30 and 60 minutes I gave up on that idea but then, the next problem I encountered was, this only had one cable coming to it with uh, my uh, black and white wires and then the, the, the ground. I thought, oh, hold it. How do I do this? I went to uh, Home Depot this time, got to talk to an electrician, and he says, oh, you can't put two switches in there. I came up with an idea that allowed me to do this, and this is, maybe he didn't think of it or didn't bother to tell me, he just said, thought I should go get another the power source. The problem was, I could run one switch with those two wires, run that light, and that power on this type of switch would allow me to give hot to both of those switches, but there was no common wire. Even though there was a white wire, that white wire was functioning as a load wire. In other words, the power, the power source went right to, in the attic, behind this light is where the hot came in and then just for the switch only they ran uh, one cable down here and one being hot one being below so it was just a, a round loop to put a switch in here so it was not a normal common even though it was white it was not a common wire or what they call it common or neutral wire so I, I was able to uh, hook up the, the, the Romex wire to this device up here and get that installed. And that was a little bit of a pain in the butt to get that done up there in my little room in my attic. So I was able to drill a hole up in the attic just above where in between these two uh, studs and drop my one dot wire down here. But it was then that I was discovered that I have... I had no common wire or no neutral wire to tie the neutral into. I had the... The hot provided by the wire was already there, and then my black wire would be the load wire here. I had no place to tie that into. And like I said, the Lowe's electrician said, oh, we can't put two switches in there. Then I was t talked to a couple friends, and I said, I have an idea. What if I just ran another cable, like I ran the one from, from the fan to, to here, but what if I ran an, just another cable and only used the, the white out of it just to tie into the the whites that were up behind here. So that's what I did, and it's working like a charm. I put down two Romex cables down here, and one of those I'm only using the white to tie in the common, if that makes any sense. I was up all night learning about electricity, and uh, I came up with that idea, and apparently it was a sound idea. So, bingo, I've got a light, I've got a fan at the same place here, so I'm thrilled. And so far, I am thrilled with my Panasonic Whisper model, Whisper remodel version. I got a, I paid about ninety nine dollars for it. You gotta trust. You gotta love those Japanese for making a quiet uh, fan. Now I will turn off the. Yeah. So there you go. 
So now I have a hole that's too big for this, so just to let you know what I plan on doing there. Okay, as you see here inside this box, there's two tabs. You can turn up one down there, one, one on top, one on the bottom. You can turn down, and then you turn these screws and it tightens it to the drywall, but my problem is my hole is so big that I'm barely getting any bite on the drywall. My faceplate is not going to cover the whole hole. So I will have to repair that. I got a little bit of bite, but I, I decided to put some shims in here and shims below. And then I uh, liquid nailed a piece of uh, one by two in place here to fill the gap here and glued it to the wall. Also, there's a shim in there as well. And so now when that dries, I'm going to have a solid thing that I can just spackle over around the edges here and no one will be the wiser for it. So that was one other solution that I had to do. Well, another problem I had to deal with once I... It's never as quite as easy as uh, it says on this old house. There's always some curveball that presents itself and makes it a little more difficult than you would think it would be. But we're good to go.